Hey everyone, uh, just hopping on for a few moments uh, to um, respond to a couple of uh, queries, uh, inquiries that were put up on both the Prizewood Parish uh, Facebook page and also the Messenger. Uh, fair questions, you know, to be to be honest, uh, people asking, you know, are there any news about the Holy Communions and Confirmations? And also a couple of people asking about baptisms. Now, the diocese coordinates the uh, confirmation ceremonies in the sense that the Archbishop will uh, ask uh, different uh, diocesan clergy and uh, the some of the senior priests to go to parishes and administer the sacrament of confirmation for the boys and girls. Um, the communions are generally uh, organised by the parishes themselves. And I, I've been talking to Mr. Uh, Kennedy and, and Ms. Plunkett about, about them. Bottom line is we can't move or do anything until government uh, gives the green light. You know, we can't talk about the ceremonies of confirmation or the ceremonies of First Holy Communion until the government uh, relaxes the rules and regulations and norms in terms of the large gatherings in churches. And anyway, you know, the uh, communions and confirmations are very much a, a school and a community and a parish uh, a celebration. So we, you know, we can't have any kind of celebrations and, and properly enjoy those celebrations until the government relaxes those rules. And at the moment, the government has asked us all to stay at home and to stay, you know, apart until the 5th of May. And they're the best regulations and guidelines which we are asked to adhere to. Um, and as soon as we get uh, further information, we will be able to make decisions then. So we can't make any decisions or talk about them then until then. About baptisms, um, people are asking, you know, are there any news about baptisms? Again, we can't talk about baptisms uh, until the government uh, advises that we can have groups, uh, gatherings in the church. There are um, some uh, allowances made for funerals, but they can only be not more than 10 people and sit uh, sitting, uh, you know, uh, more than two meters apart, spread out around the church. Um, because again of the um, the danger of coronavirus, the danger of uh, contagion. So we are uh, asking you just to be patient uh, and until we are told um, by chief medical officer and the government that we can uh, begin to have gatherings in the church again. Uh, we, we we can't, and it's as simple as that. I do promise that, you know, we will, as soon as we're given permission, we will be able to arrange for the boys and girls to make their communion and confirmation. But until we get permission, uh, until the government allow us to, to, to uh, have gatherings in the church, uh, we won't be able to, to make any, uh, you know, arrangements about these things. So hold tough. And let's continue to do what we're told. Let's continue to be um, advised by our chief medical officer people and our government people. And please, God, we will get through this and we'll get to the other end of this uh, together. And we promise to keep all of you in our prayers and all those who are working so hard to find a solution out there to COVID-19 coronavirus, not just indeed in Ireland, but all over the world. Thanks very much.